Hi, good afternoon. It's 12 noon and I am going to fry up one of my favorite dishes um, being spinach, fresh spinach. I, um, I don't do it often because it uses a lot of water and I'm always trying to conserve water but I'll show you, but when you can get it, it's awfully good to have. And then I, I'll show you how I use the water uh, that I use to clean the spinach. So um, here I have uh, salt. I'm going to fry up a few pieces of almond slices, which I love. Actually, not a few, quite a bit. A few tablespoons of almonds. I have olive oil. You can use regular oil or sesame oil. And here is my spinach. I'll also put a, a, a video on up how to do this with uh, uh, frozen spinach. So here, uh, if you use your frozen spinach right away, uh, you use less water cleaning it because it's uh, uh, not to, it hasn't gotten gooey yet. So I just cut off the edges. By the way, this probably cost two dollars, and this was two dollars. To me, this is a rich meal. I'm, I'm looking for gooey parts, and then I'll rinse them. And I only buy these uh, when I know I have the time to wash it right away and, and cook it. Because as soon as it gets gooey, then uh, it means a lot of wash time and it means uh, use a lot of water. And I'm always trying to conserve water. So here I'm just going through this. I just bought it yesterday, so it is about as fresh as it can be. So when I talk about gooey parts, I really mean parts like that that you wouldn't want to cook up. So I'll put that aside. This has hardly no gooey parts. Um, I happen to know this grocer really well, and so I happen to know that this doesn't have a lot of sand in it. gooey. And the way I wash it, I have a, a pan here that's gathering the water. I'll run it through. And then I have this uh, salad rinser. I'll use this to drain the water. So as I wash it, I put it in this drain right next door so I can um, uh, drain it and then put it into uh, into the, this pan. The pan here is a Teflon pan and if you've seen any of my other videos you know that I really believe in decent Teflon. If you have decent Teflon it reduces your oil intake tremendously. So um, that's just a, a really a, a great benefit. And for this I, I'm going to use about it at tablespoon of oil, even a little less, and I'm going to drop a little oil in there, which is where I'm going to start my um, almond, almond slices cooking up. And they're just going to be until they're brown, and then they'll just sit there and wait until, uh, so that's two or three tablespoons. It's really, really to taste. But if you're a vegan and you're not spending money on a lot of other things, you can really indulge in a lot of uh, nuts, which are extremely good for you. They provide a lot of protein, and they um, just add a lot of pizzazz to meals. If you're tired of the Indian taste, or the Italian taste, or the Chinese taste that we so often get, uh, just adding uh, nuts really, without anything else, really makes things good. So this is just going to be cooking on low while I um, wash this. And I just want you to see how I wash it, and then I'll turn off the uh, camera. So here, uh, 
here. I'm going through it. And as I said, it's in a pot. When this pot fills up, the water in it fills up, I will uh, transfer it to a garden bucket, which is where I'll, I'll put it outside. So it's not going down my drain if you're in a, uh, what do you call that, a drought state. Uh, to me, when I'm in a drought state, some of the first things to go are these uh, vegetables that I love because you have to use a lot of water to clean them. This is the one area where I really splurge on, uh, on water, which is uh, to clean these leafy green vegetables. The amount of water you have to have running through depends on how uh, sandy it is. Um, I, as I said, I happen to know this vendor, and it, their water, their spinach, is not sandy. Some are very sandy, so you really have to spend a lot more water. You'll rarely see me just running water like this. But it's a must with, uh, with your salads and uh, anything, uh, the leafy greens. You really do have to wash them well. I'll spin this dry in a minute. But before I do that, I want to show you how I transfer. So here's my bucket, my watering bucket from outside. There. Take that out. It's not, I'll empty it out later and I'll show you what that looks like. These pieces are all really still good. And I'll salt to taste later. Um, spinach sometimes has a salty taste to it, and I don't know why. Because they're a little expensive, and you can purge uh, diet wise or uh, fat content wise. So this here, as you see I have some more water and I just stick it in my I forgot I always use a little red pepper. So I'll use two of those. Again, it's to taste. You decide what you want to do. So this is really becoming nice and warm. And I don't care for my uh, spinach long. Throw it on the, the grill, although you're getting pretty close to it. Just move that around a little bit. And it'll start to wilt. And while that's going, I'm going to wash my other bunch. And it's 1210. Just cutting off the edges. It's 121211. 12, and I'm going to turn off the film right now. So it's 1213. And I'm just starting to turn this. Okay, there's nothing uh, very unusual. 
So this is going to keep cooking. Here's my other uh, bushel of spinach that I'm going to wash, and then when this is done, I'll fry this up. Okay, it's 12.18. Okay, so we're going to finish up. It's 12.26. And I took a little extra time to write this down, what we have. We had, uh, we started at 12 with spinach, two bunches of spinach. Um, we used some sliced almonds that I had kept keep in my fridge. Uh, two tablespoons of oil, salt to taste. Red chilies are optional. And of course, any seasonings that you love are, should be part of this. And then a pan to capture water and a bucket to take the water to the plant. Those are necessities for me. I'm not even going to add salt right now. I'm going to let leave that to the table. This is my favorite vegan cheese. I love Parmesan cheese. And um, so I happen to use this a lot, and I love it. So I just wanted to show you that. Again, that's optional. So at this time, I'm just going to move this back. And now I'll take the almonds that have cooked use a lot of nuts to make your food. And now I'll serve it like this. And that took about 28 minutes. I will also show you a link to um, to doing this with plain frozen, uh, frozen spinach. Here it is, all in one bowl. And here's the recipe. So this meal is fried or sautéed fresh spinach. It takes about 28 minutes to do and that includes washing the spinach. Um, two bunches of spinach, some sliced almonds, about four tablespoons is what I used. You can use as much as you like. About two tablespoons of oil and uh, that would be any kind of oil. I happen to use olive oil, but I also like plain vegetable oil and corn oil. And uh, salt to taste. Red chilies are optional, as are garlic, if you like garlic, uh, ginger, uh, soy sauce, on and on. And then the other thing I always use is I wash my spinach in um, a pan to capture the water. Then I uh, move the, the water to a bucket where, that I take outside to water my plants. And this meal, which I consider a very rich meal uh, because it's uh, fresh and it took, it took a lot of work to do the water. So this is just a follow up to show you that I really do use this water. I use my bird bath. water that otherwise would have just gone down the drain will be used out here in the yard. And I'll move those two. 